today on Divorce Court. I'm here because Noah has cheated on me multiple times. He even had a girl give him a secret phone so they can have a secret relationship. I know she's taking care of the five kids, but she also needs to take care of my needs too. I'm rushing around from morning to night with my kids and work, and I just don't have the time or energy for sex by the end of the day. I need the judge to show Missy how to control her temper and how a woman is supposed to treat her husband. If Noelle doesn't change, me and my five kids are gonna be forced to leave. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Misty Smith and Noel Smith. The two of you have been married for two and a half years. You have three children together, and Mrs. Smith, you have two children from a previous relationship. I understand that your marriage is in trouble. Mrs. Smith, you have come here uh, seeking assistance. Your primary concern is that you say your husband continually cheats on you. Why don't you tell me about that? Well, right after... He's cheated a lot before we got married. But right after we got married, he said he was going to change. About a month after we got married, I felt something in the back glove of the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. And I put my hand back there, and there's a whole cell phone. I picked up the cell phone. I asked him whose cell phone it was. He automatically got defensive. He said it was his cousin's cell phone, but then tried to throw it out the window on the highway. <laughs> 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 so I... <laughs> So he was driving, he couldn't really fight for the cell phone. So of course I had it and I started going through it. And no, it was a secret cell phone that he had between him and another female. So I went through the phone, I got the female's phone number and I called her off of their phone. Whenever I talked to the female, she said, yes, I've been seeing him. And then the only thing she was worried about is that she wanted her phone. So I said, okay, well, good so luck. So she getting... was paying for the phone. Oh yeah, she was paying for the phone bill. She bought him a brand new phone. So I pawned the phone just to get rid of it and get out of my sight. Cause he, and I let her know that he tried to throw it out the highway window. So me and the girl kind of got into it. And then later on, he told me that he, the girl wanted him to move to Austin with him, with our kids and be stepmom. And this is while we're married. This is like a month after we were married. But he said that he was just like- I was not finna leave. Yeah, he wasn't gonna leave. He was just being friendly with the girl or whatever. Mr. Mr. Smith, would you care to respond? Is any of that accurate? Uh, some of it is accurate, um, but I wouldn't say not all the way. Yes, I did have a phone that she had that she had gave. I was was going through a little problems. She's not so innocent herself, but um. So you were seeing this other woman, and you you had a relationship with her. Well, I wouldn't call that some... was significant enough to, for you two to get a secret phone so you could contact each other constantly. It, I mean, that's what you're telling me, right? That's, yeah, that's because of what happened. Because of what, what happened? You know, I was going through a little, little issues with, uh, with my wife, you know. Wh that like was, what issues? Well, I have had pictures and had somebody tell me that, that she was in my house when I was at work with another guy <laughs> in front of my house. In front of my house is a picture of her and him close by touching. So and this is around the time about the, around, around the time the phone came up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I know I messed up. Mm -hmm. But one thing about it is that when I mess up, I own up to it. Mm -hmm. So I had no problem telling her that I messed up. But and my reasons for that is because I give her the benefit of the doubt of whether she wants to stay with me or not. But one thing she does not do is she doesn't give me the same thing. What, what do you mean she doesn't give you the same thing? Meaning we've been together for five years, five kids all together, and she swears up and down that she's never stepped out on me at once. She's very much tit for tat type of person. And I believe when she says, I never cheated on you, to me it's like insulting my intelligence. Give me an example of, of when you've caught her cheating, why you know she does in fact cheat. One of the examples was one night we was out drinking with some friends and it was it was brought up that she was that she had slept with one of her uh, her friends' baby daddy, which was a friend of mine, which I became very cool with. And, and when her friend put her out there on, in front of her on blast, she was crying to her. She told her she couldn't believe what she done. She couldn't believe that she did it, and she told her that she was fake. All she could do was put her head down and not say nothing. Now to me, that's like guilt. That's a sign of guilt. Were you two married at the time? No, it was, it was in her past, but the point that I don't care about her past. Whatever your past is your past, but don't have me looking stupid. And I, I, You brought it up. 
that she's cheating on you as the reason why you cheated on her. Then you gave me a story that's way in the past, and you say you don't bring up the past. But no, but you she confused me. <laughs> <laughs> I know I may not be confusing you, but it's just no. This is, it was in her past, but it was recently brought up, and then that she told her that about everything about her sleeping with. She was put her... on blast recently, is what you're saying. Yes, and and about her sleeping with her baby daddy, which she denied. I still don't know the truth, and she just, just didn't say nothing. Now, a person who was telling the truth would have spoke up on it. Okay, so... I see. I'm, I'm with you. I got there. It was a circuitous route, but we got there. Mrs. Smith, <laughs> you say he cheated on you with one of your closest friends. Why don't you tell me about Can that? Can I bring up what he just said real fast? Yeah. This was year about six years before I even knew him. And no, I never slept with the baby's dad. I was dating his brother. So no, that was a lie. And so she that's said, "That's a real old stuff." Yes, and she but said, "But it was, but it's the lies that makes me have my reasons of." Like doubts. I said before, I never met him, and she said that she heard that from her sister. She didn't hear that first. I, 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 you don't have to defend yourself anymore. If I, when I found out it was six years before <laughs> you two got together, it, his story became ridiculous. And then also tell me the about future. your first. Tell me about he is cheating with your friend. Yes, this is another thing. Um, my friend, two of my girlfriends, I was very close to the female. My friend went up to Houston on a vacation with the other girl who had slept with my husband. And my friend was like, Misty, I just went through her cell phone. You know that they're sleeping with each other. They have all these messages. So I confronted Noelle. And I was like, are you sleeping with my friend? No, no, why would I do that? She's nasty, she's ugly, all this and that, this and that. So a year later, a year, well, we're in a petty fight a year, a year later. Oh, that's why I slept with your friend and put out the girl's name. And I was like, oh, okay. But I already kind of had, I already knew it was true. I just didn't want to believe it because the girl's baby's father had called me Wait, and her cousin. Okay, so you, you confirmed it a year later. Is yeah, that what be, she's saying? That happened before I was married. Yeah, but you guys were dating at the time. <laughs> yes. Yes, and, and you confirmed it a year later. So you don't really actually fess up to he what you gets do caught. When you, once you get caught. But I own up to it. I, he, he has he, no reason. He can't deny it. I mean, you I, didn't know no up to it. You used it as a dagger to hurt her <laughs> when, 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 when something else happened. You didn't own up to it. You used it as a weapon. Say, yeah, and I slept with your girlfriend. It's just, no, tack it wrong and ratchet. Sometimes we might get a little bit loud. I don't call her names like that in front of my, my children. They heard you. I'm telling you right now, they heard you. My kids heard all our arguments. And we, and we weren't nasty, ratchet, and loud. They heard what you call her. Don't pretend that they don't, because they do. Mrs. Smith used to be a stripper, correct? Yes. She says that you bring that up whenever you argue or in front of the children and hold it against her. Is that true? I would say, I would say things like that just to get her attention because her mouth is so loud and it's pretty much the worst mouth I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say things like that to get her attention for her to calm down. That makes her calmer? <laughs> no, but it gets, my, it gets attention for me to say what I have to say about the problem that we're having. Do you mean she's not listening to you, but as soon as you bring up the fact she used to be a stripper, all of a sudden she starts listening to you? It's the craziest, it's the craziest, the craziest thing. Craziest thing. thing. Uh -huh. I know. Yeah. Mrs. Smith, why don't you tell me how you believe he uses your former profession what against you? What happens is that me and him will be arguing, and he's told my kids flat out before, this is why you don't get married. You don't want to be with anybody like this. Your mom cheats. Your mom does. He's never once caught me cheating. Never that, once. That is not, Do you call just... her names and disparage her character right in the presence of your children? Not necessarily no, to them, but where they can hear you. I don't do that in the presence. To me, my kids, are, they're not like eavesdroppers or where they're trying to hear everything. But even though I don't, do know kids do catch on quick, quickly. But no, I would talk to her in the room, and sometimes we might get a little bit loud. I don't call her names like that in front of my my children. They heard you. I'm telling you right now, they heard you. I had a really big house. My kids heard all our arguments. <laughs> and, we, and we weren't nasty, ratchet, ratchet and loud. They know when something's wrong. They heard what you call her. They heard you do that. They heard you disparage her character. They heard you say you cheated on them. 
don't pretend that they don't, because they do. Okay. And, and... It goes to awesome that she's not just so innocent, too. Tell she me says, what she's done. She calls me all kinds of things in front of the kids. She'll call me... She'll call me a cheater. She'll curse at me in front of the kids. Very bad, vulgar language. And it's, and it's, it's not just me. It's not just mm -hmm. me. It's always, it's always, it takes two. It takes two. Miss Smith, are two. you loud and ridiculous at home? Very. I, when it, once he gets me started, I'm gonna be completely honest, you can't shut me up. Once you get me to that point, <laughs> where I'm already riled up, it's gonna take a whole force to shut me up. And do so, you yes. believe that is good for your children? I don't believe that's good at all. That's why I'm here to try and get this worked out to where we can be calm and civil, or else this marriage is gonna go down the drain. You know, you, you can't get any more than you expect of a person. Mm -hmm. And you can't get mad at getting less than ex you expected if you didn't expect much. So some of this you gotta own. Yeah, and I do. You gotta own, you knew who he was, you knew what he was doing, and you married him anyway. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna talk about what we do once you own that kind of behavior. As soon as I'm pulling up at 6 o'clock in the morning, guess who's pulling up right behind me? Misty. So she had the nerve to be doing exactly the same thing you were doing. <laughs> and that's the reason that you came in the house and tore it up. That's what you're telling me, right? How much should Misty and Noelle share about their sexual histories? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. So, Mr. Smith, she does have quite a temper on her, I understand. Yes. And please, why don't you tell me some of the things that she's done that were just off the charts? One of the things she's done off the charts is that we was having an argument, and she went into the kitchen and literally, literally broke every dish in the house, throwing plates on the floor, cups, glass, throwing stuff at me, all kinds of stuff. Now, could you ask him why I did that? Why did she do that? Yeah. Why did you do that? Why did I do that? Because, because he you kicked have in all my closet issues. doors. He went and clicked in all my closet doors. He decides to go into my house while we were already arguing. I wasn't there. I get home. My closet doors are kicked in like a kung fu fighter came up my house, like literally chopped in the middle. And I was like, oh, really? You want to mess up my stuff? OK. So yes, I got dishes, ashtrays, and mugs and threw them right above their heads, him and his brother, for going up to my house and destroying my house, where my kids live at. And my reasons of doing that is because I had have, I have did this bachelorette party. And she was supposed to be at home. And I told and him I was leaving. <laughs> when I went out. I came back home about like 6 o'clock in the morning. And as soon as I'm pulling up at 6 o'clock in the morning, guess who's pulling up right behind me? And a red little dress with red lipstick, hair done, makeup all done, Misty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she had the nerve to be doing exactly the same thing you were doing. <laughs> and that's the reason that you came in the house <laughs> and tore it up. That's what you're telling me, right? And, whenever... and you really thought that was a good story. And whenever we were pulling up, guess what he was doing? <laughs> when we pulled up, we pulled up at the same time. My friend said, Misty, he just threw condoms out the dumpster. My friend, I thought she was lying. My friend got out of her car, went into the dumpster, and pulled out a box of condoms that he had just thrown out. Hold on. I had all my kids with me whenever I pulled up. I was at my friend's house down the you street. You didn't have kids. I, it was, I didn't have kids. It, was, it wasn't a box. At, at, the, at the party, it was... They were throwing condoms all over, <laughs> all over the place. It was condoms, money, and I had one in my back pocket. <laughs> and I tried to be slick, and I tried to throw it in the dumps, and, she, and one, and Yeah, OK, she, OK. And yeah, no, I know. Kinda... The joint's never yours. It's just in the car. <laughs> Been a judge for a long time. Who bleached whose clothes? Oh, she bleaches my clothes. Tell me about that. I think after that night, when I came home from there, I had left. We was arguing so bad that I left, and I went home to my mother's. And she texted me the next day and said, if you, don't if you don't come back, I'm throwing all your clothes outside. She threw all my clothes and shoes outside on the bench. And when I came back, my half my clothes, worth $700 worth of clothes was bleached. 
Did you do that, Mrs. Smith? I sure did. <laughs> I, and this is the reason why I did that. Me and him are on the same plan. I can easily go into his messages. I can easily He's go... He's cheating on you. I, I mean, it, no, no, just... The, but that whole point is that I had went on, I looked up our call it, history. No, 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 no. He's no, ignoring no, my calls no, all night no, long. No, He's calling his no, ex. No, 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 You actually think that story is important. You really <laughs> do. And it's not. Because I don't need to hear how you caught him or when you caught him or how outrageous this was. We already know he's tacky. We already know he runs the street. We already know he's a traveler. You, you get all caught up in the specifics and you don't see the big, huge, hulking error that is your union. I mean, it's just error filled. Why does Misty remain with Noel while believing he constantly cheats on her? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. My heart aches and breaks for your children. They are living inside a tornado of ignorance, ratchetness, foulness, ugliness, uh, they're living inside a home with a couple of two-year-olds who are living a life of immediate gratification, constant frustration, ongoing indignation, and no thought whatsoever about the lives that they created in the middle of this tornado. <laughs> Mr. Smith, your wife is a crazed individual. She's outlandish, crazed, off the chain. And you're the dude that made her crazy. You made her crazy with your conduct. You made her crazy with your approval. You made her crazy with your hurtful words. You made her crazy with the manner in which you do the wrong things to her. You made her crazy. So she, every day, she's waiting for the next one for the next girl, the next hurt, the next pain, the next argument when she can find out about the last girl that you did that she hadn't found already because you hold that stuff in your pocket so you can hurt her when you got a shot at it. How low can you go? That's the mother of your children. Your cho it's, it's like if you had a, your children on a table and just started chopping out the legs. That's the same thing. Their stability is determined by her ability to stand up and you're kicking her down every other day. You need to stop it. If you can't be a man to one woman, don't impregnate people. Don't run around and tell that lie, I will be faithful only to you if you're unable to do it. Don't do it. It's not fair to you, it's not fair to her, and it's not fair to the kids. Let me tell you something. He is who he is, and you married him. And you knew who he was when you married him. Then you got the nerve to be upset that he was who he was, even though you knew. Rings don't mean anything to people like that. And then you think, okay, in response to him being a jerk and a fool and a foul individual, I'll just be a loud and a crazy and a ridiculous individual and to hell with the kids. Let them grow up crazy. Let them grow up in chaos. Let them see the doors broken and the dishes down and all of that. Let, go, let, go ahead, because I want a cheater. I want this nasty man for my husband. I'm going to tell you two something. I'm going to send you to somebody to get you started on this. But you need to be embarrassed and ashamed. I mean, just embarrassed and ashamed. You can't raise the next generation of people if you two are acting like two years all day, every day, fussing and cussing and sleeping around. It's untenable. You will destroy them. This matter is adjourned. A lot went on in there, but I'm pretty sure that he's gonna change. I'm pretty confident that he's gonna change because he doesn't want to lose his children and his family. I did a lot to my wife, and I understand what I did, and I'm going to step up, stop, uh, stop the childishness, and step up and be the man that I'm supposed to be. If he's not going to make these changes, then me and my five kids are going to be leaving.